What's up guys, Captain Coin Collector here. We got Coin Mist episode number eight with episode number eight of the Quarter Hunted Phil. All right guys, welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more coin roll hunts and informational videos in the future. Today we'll be hunting a box of quarters for the Hunt and Phil. This is box number 11, episode number eight. Let's see if we can find anything. We'll be hunting for errors, silver, W's, and more. So I'll let you know when I find something. Roll number nine is gonna give us our first error on the Arizona quarter, and it's the extra leaf error. Even though this coin is in terrible shape, you can clearly see an extra leaf covering the initials of Joseph Mena, the JFM, under the cactus. This is a die chip that looks like an extra leaf on the coin, and it's our first error of the box. Roll number 13 is going to give us an error I've never found before, and it's a die chip on the San Antonio Missions quarter. As you can see on the north end of the baton, we got a huge die chip right at the top under San Antonio. On roll number 19, and look at this, guys. It is beat up, but that mirror-like finish means that we got a proof, and I'm not sure what state it is, but let's see that S mint mark a little bit more clearly underneath the microscope. And there you can see the S mint mark. And if we flip it over, it's going to be a Washington 2007 clad proof. On roll number 21, it looks like we're going to have an NIFC. Now, this S mint mark doesn't look mirrored, so I'm assuming that it's an NIFC. It's a Chachko Culture 2012 San Francisco NIFC. 960,049 of these were minted. Very nice to see an NIFC as well as a proof in this box, but let's keep on hunting to see what else we can find. A little bit more ways down the roll, we got ourselves an Angadby Rust Error. This, as you guys know, is on the back of a Kansas quarter, but as you can see, the T is missing from the In God We Trust, and it leaves In God We Rust. Philadelphia, 2005, Kansas quarter. Roll number 35, and we're going to get a Block Island error, where the die chip is existent on the bird's body. This is the first one of the hunt so far. Because I don't find them too often, it's amazing that I found two in one box. Another 2005 Philadelphia In God We Rust error. Roll number 39, we're going to have a little bit of doubling here on the 2016 Cumberland Gap Quarter. On roll 40, we're going to get our second extra leaf error. This one just a little bit bigger than the previous one we found at the beginning of the hunt. On roll number 44, and just as I'm getting to the end of the box, thinking I'm not going to find a W, we found one. And it's going to be a 2019 because there's no V75 privy mark on the left-hand side of the quarter. So if we flip it over, we find that we got a War in the Pacific 2019 West Point Mint Mark Quarter. Very beat up, but I'll take it. It's a West Point first one of the hunt. On roll number 48, and it looks like we have a potential silver coin. This could just be a foreign, but I'm liking the reads. So hopefully it is a silver coin. Let's pull it out and see exactly what we got. And we got a Washington. Let's see what the year is. The year is going to be 19... 47 and we're gonna have a mint mark on it no mint mark the mint mark would be right there above the er but a 1947 silver 90 percent quarter this is the sixth silver quarter we found of the year and this is even more awesome because it's during a hunt and fill episode so we'll be putting yet another silver quarter in the books just awesome Look at that edge, not too bad of a condition for a 77 year old Washington quarter. Let's go. So the box is empty. I got a little bit of soaring to do, but this ended up being a great box towards the end and at the beginning. So let me add up everything and then we'll go to the books to see if we have any fills or upgrades. All right guys, so it was a pretty good hunt at the end of the day with some really good last minute finds. But all in all, here's how we did. We found 11 errors, including two extra leaf errors on the Arizona quarter. 
a dive ship on the San Antonio Missions Quarter, two in Godby Rust Errors on the Kansas Quarter, two dive ships on the Block Island Quarter, two dive ships on the Salt River Bay Quarter, as well as a finger feeder error on the Salt River Bay Quarter, and a DDR on the Cumberland Gap Quarter. From the year 2009 to 2012, we managed to get 24 quarters today. There is no chance in heck that this quarter will go in the machine without being returned in the coin slot. We also found one proof. It's on the Washington State Quarter, and it's a San Francisco Mint Mark. We found an NIFC that's also a San Francisco from Chaco Culture in New Mexico. That also has the S Mint Mark on the obverse. We found one W right at the end of the hunt, a West Point quarter, this time from War in the Pacific, as well as a 1947 Philadelphia 90% silver quarter. Time to go to the books to see what we can fill and potentially upgrade. All right, guys, we're here with volume number one, and it looks like by the skin of our teeth, we're going to get an ad, and that is the 1947 Philadelphia quarter. That'll go right in one of the last spots in the book as a fill for this episode. Now we have one fill in each of our volume one and volume two quarter books. Volume number three, though completed, is going to get one upgrade, and that's the 1973 Denver. Volume number five is the first half of the state quarters, and looks like we're going to have one upgrade, which is the 1999 Denver Delaware quarter. Volume number six, the second half of the Washington State Quarters, is going to have another upgrade as well, being the 2004 Denver, Michigan. This is volume number nine, National Parks Quarters, volume two. But we have one upgrade, and it's going to be the Ozark Riverway, Philadelphia. And volume 10, the American Women Quarter Book, we're going to have one upgrade, just a little bit cleaner, Dr. Sally Ride, Philadelphia. And last but not least in the books, we had two additions to the Blink album. The San Francisco Proof Washington Quarter, as well as the NIFC Shaco Culture Quarter, both San Francisco Mints, as well as the War in the Pacific W, our third repeat 2019 W quarter found in the Hunt and Fill series. All right, guys, so altogether for quarter hunt and fill number eight, we did get that one fill in volume number one, meaning that we have two silvers in the hunt and fill series thus far. We completed books three, four, five, six, seven, the 2009s, not the 2020 Ws, as well as we need one more 2012 Denver, the Acadia, as well as two W mint marks in volume nine for the 2019 West Points. Volume 10, we're still missing the Ottawa Warren Denver, as well as the Wong, Philly, and Denver. We have 302 out of 392 coins, meaning that we're 77% done with the collection. We had one fill again, five upgrades. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more quarter hunts, penny hunts, nickel hunts, dime hunts in the future. As always, guys, I'm Captain Coin Collector. Have a great day and happy hunting.